Hello and... <laughs> well, we've reached the end of Game of Accents, but have no fear, there are plenty of other fantasy shows, films and games, so I won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Hopefully. This week it's time to round up the remaining Essos characters and grill their accents like Drogod grilling a fat boy's family. <laughs> Melisandre hails from a shy, like Quaith, and also has a mysterious accent that's hard to place. There's a touch of the actress's native Dutch in there, and it was no doubt chosen for its distinctiveness in comparison to the other characters in the show standing out particularly in Westeros, where everyone either sounds Northern, Southern, or New Jersey, and... My time whispering in the ears of kings has come to an end. Varys hails from Lys, but has spent so long at court in King's Landing that his accent is now RP. He speaks in an obsequious, fawning way, which is designed to make him seem trustworthy and of little threat. I have a new for accents. I've lost my accent entirely. I have an ear for that as well. <laughs> Salador San, another Lassini, speaks in a sort of French colonial accent. He sounds like you'd expect a flamboyant pirate to sound with his careless arrogance. Cersei, I want him. I'll sail with your fleet, all 30 of my ships. Illyrio Mapatis, despite hailing from Pentos, speaks in a rich upper-class RP accent in yet another missed opportunity for the show. I guess they went with that to show that he's a rich, powerful figure or something. Soon you will cross the narrow sea and take back your father's throne. People drink secret toast to your health. Shay, the Fuani Whore, is from Lurath, in the show at least. She speaks in a sort of German accent, much like Jack and Hagar, another Lurathy. What's this? Accent consistency in my fantasy show? Wonders will never cease. I stopped being a child when I was nine. My mother made sure of that. Talisa Magia, the show only character, is from Volantis, where apparently they speak in RP accents. That boy did. The family he fights for. Do you think he's friends with King Joffrey? Kinvara, the absolute head honcho of the Lord of Light's religion, and a complete wasted plotline, speaks in a slightly Israeli accent. Again, this was probably a decision to make us stand out. You don't need to persuade me. I came to help. Daenerys Stormborn is the one who was promised. Miss Sandy hails from the Summer Isles or thereabouts, but speaks the common tongue in a very well-spoken accent. This is presumably because she acts as an interpreter and has learnt many languages, if not all of them. I have tried wine before. It made me feel funny. Grey Worm has a sort of generic foreign accent, somewhat like the rest of the Unsullied. You'd think they'd all sound quite high-pitched. And Sully'd never drink. Why not? Rules. Miri Mazdur, the witch who curses Daenerys, is Lazarine, which is that area that borders the Dothraki Sea and acts as a sort of basic food resource for them. She speaks in a similar accent to the Dothraki, unsurprisingly. An innocent. He would have been the stallion who mounts the world. Vala, the Miranese prostitute who sets up an Unsullied for ambush, and is then scared half to death by Varys, speaks in an oddly estuary accent. If I tell you anything, they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. Thoris of Mir, whose nationality is literally in his name, nevertheless speaks in a standard Westeros southern accent. I suppose he could have been there a long time. We know he fought in the Greyjoy Rebellion. Come on. Maybe they got some AR hidden away. Krasnis Mo Naklos, the slave master who supplies the Unsullied to Danny, speaks Low Valerian in what I presume is a Low Valerian accent. It sounds suitably exotic with a touch of Egyptian. Hisdar Zo Lorak, the hapless former slaver turned arranged husband to Daenerys, sounds very RP and proper. Perhaps he only speaks that way when he's speaking Westerosi. I've spent much of my life in this arena, and in my experience, larger men do triumph over smaller men. Ario, who gets one good line in the whole show, speaks in a standard estuary accent despite living in Dawn for years and hailing from Norva. When you were whole, it would have been a good fight. 
The wine cellar, who completely screws up poisoning Danny, then has to run along behind a horse with his cock and balls out, speaks in a nervous estuary accent with some touches of somewhere else. It would be a crime to drink a wine this rich without at least giving it time to breathe. Do as he says. Razdal Mo Erraz, the young Kai slave trader who craps himself when he sees Daddy's dragons, has a well-spoken accent with the faintest hint of Middle Eastern. Our empire was old before dragons stirred in old Valyria. Prendal Ne Gezin, one of the Second Sun captains, gets about one line and speaks it with a sort of Eastern European accent. A contract is our bond. If we break our bond, no one will hire the Second Sons again. His co-captain Miro has a sort of Cockney accent verging on well-spoken. Not sure where he's supposed to be from, so I guess we could let that slide. You're the mother of dragons. Swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house in Leeds. Mind your tongue. And lastly, Dario Naharis, the first one, speaks the same way as Miro. I hope the old man is better with a sword than he is with a lie. You have 8,000 unsullied. After he went off to be in Deadpool, his replacement is a bit more well-spoken. Though, to me, he sounds sort of like Jamie. The pile of angry muscles never had any muscles here. Or... Here. And that about wraps it up for Game of Thrones. Bye then.